Colonel Stafford, this is your second flight. Is there anything that you learned on Gemini 6 that changes your operations or helps you do a better job this time? Certainly, Roy. After the first rendezvous, we went back, we viewed all the data, we changed some of the controls and displays in the cockpit to make it easier to read out the, the total pitch angle on the attitude indicator. We've changed our rendezvous charts to make them easier to read and become a, uh, wider dispersions and streamline the procedures. But uh, one thing for the year that we worked to develop that first rendezvous, we can now approach any rendezvous problem from these basic procedures and data that we worked up and go through it in, say, a couple of months and come up with the answer. What are some of the things you've done to train for this mission? Well, we've used the, one of the key things is use a hybrid simulator at McDonnell where we've just trained, say, for 10 hours a day, two shifts a day with the plan and backup crews for rendezvous, all three different types of rendezvous. And with this, we've ironed out all the little problems with our onboard computations. That was a key point. The rest of it is a general mission simulator. We've trained zero-G aircraft uh, for uh, adapter work, ingress and egress from the spacecraft. And also we've used the simulator at Edwards uh, for VDA training as far as these short transfer maneuvers. What would you like to do after this flight? I think after this flight, Roy, uh, my experience could best be used uh, in the Apollo program. And with the inputs, particularly with respect to rendezvous and all the aspects of rendezvous, the interface with the vehicle and hardware. 